going everybody? I'm Angelo and welcome to the Shave Arcade. We're very excited today. We're going to have a Avo nice shave. That's right. This is some just awesome gorgeousness that is coming out from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get into this. This is going to be so much fun. But get your quarters ready. Let's get our game on and let's get our shave going. So today, this beauty, I just cannot wait. I already got some scoops taken out and this smells just awesome this is perfect for this time of year spring going to be going into summer and uh yes i am very excited hopefully all you guys are able to pick this up um so i got uh sent this from amazing doug over at uh phoenix shaving uh to do this review so thank you doug for this and i also got the matching splash to go with it but uh we're going to review we're going to get into it we're going to do a shave with this and yes so to let you know what I got going on in here, we're going to get into the ingredients and everything um, as well. But, man, it's just my initial impression is just bright, uplifting, and the the creamy avocado just envelopes. And, but I tell you what, though, don't think guacamole. Think beautiful spa day, and I'll tell you why. But that, and I have the matching aftershave splash and oh my gosh this smells equally as awesome it's got a little bit of a hint of green to it which i absolutely love love the green <laughs> so i'm gonna be using that for my post uh, i have the soap lathered up in my fine accoutrements bowl and i am using my cyclotrode yes this baby does glow in the dark if you love glow like i do get one 24 millimeter synthetic knot this is just i love the shape of this this is so cool brings me right back into the um that atomic age type of feel that i love and hold dear that i get from phoenix artists and accoutrements I, the artwork and everything um it's just so cool so so great minds over there at phoenix shaving so again thank you doug fran and huxley so all right but yeah look at that the vegan base Lathered up really nicely in here. I only scooped out, like I said, probably uh, with my scooper there. My Phoenix shaving, got the little alien guy. God, I love this, so cool. Probably about an almond size, that's all I really needed. The other was out there because my beautiful wife, Crystal with a K, she used some as well. Um, she smelled it and she's like, I gotta use it. And I had to hide my splash this morning. Cause she wanted to take it. <laughs> she wanted it. I'm like, no, that's my, I gotta do a video. <laughs> so <laughs> the beauty of living with a wet shaver who's just as much as a wet shaving degenerate as you are. So love you, babe. But anyways, yes. So this is lathered up really nicely. The sheen on that. I mean, oh my gosh. Yes. That's what you get. Gorgeous vegan base, but just lathers up perfectly. Got my sterling coffee in the mug, my shave arcade. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Black coffee, got plenty of it. So for the razor, I'm gonna be using my artifact. This was a gift from my great brother, uh, Carlos Shavon Jens. And he got this a um, little bit too mild for him. So I'm like, hey, I love it. I love the look of it. So he gifted it to me. Thank you, my brother, I love you. But uh, I love this because, yes, it is an open comb. Um, it's not aggressive. It, it, it works perfectly with my skin. I was very appreciative of it. I really do like this. Um, so this is one of my uh, PAA razors that I have. I do want a couple more, but I do like this one. This is I love the look of that. It's so cool. Uh, modeled after the Evermoist uh, vintage razor. So if you want to do some research on it, go check it out. But it's just the gorgeous like type of art deco um intricacies that are on that look at that that is just so cool so i'm going to use that and i have that loaded up with a um it was a gillette silver blue blade uh, on its second use and yes so i usually get about three to four shaves out of a gillette silver blue um so this is on the second use so i'm eager to try that okay um, uh, I do have 
my cube up there, uh, just watching over, making sure everything goes okay. But I do have a second one, which is this, that's my rabbit banana cube that always likes to hang out in different areas of my uh, bathroom because it does go in the dark as well. And, but I have also my unscented one. So PAA cubes is a great pre shave. Um, the CK6 base provides a tremendous amount of slickness and glide. Um, but I like to have a little bit more because I sh tend to shower at night and I'm filming this in the morning before I start my work day. So since I didn't, I usually like to, sh you know, I shower and then I shave right after. But since I didn't do that um, shaving this morning, uh, I like to tend to use a, a pre-shave beforehand. Plus it also does help to, you know, elevate, bring up lots of the bristle. I mean, the, the stubble and all that. So just, I like to do that for my morning shaves is to use the cube, um, either the, my rabbit banana or the unscent. I use that one more than anything, as you can see, but, uh, cause that one glows and that one randomly appears in different areas and it tends to light up my bathroom. <laughs> so it's so cool. As you can tell, I am a fan of glow in the dark though. So, as you know, here at the shave arcade, uh, anything neon glowing that retro style gotta have it so but yeah okay let's get into this man this feels and smells so good so good okay top notes we'll get into the uh the scent here Ooh, little aromatherapy there in the nose yeah why not okay creamy avocado citrus peel olive okay that's on your top there and i get that right straight away and wow once you guys smell this and you pick this up you're going to know what i'm talking about um the heart notes you're going to be bosque pear french lavender and basil or basil for some people and then you have your bottom notes which is blonde woods musk and excuse me if i'm pronouncing this correctly cyclamen blossom okay so this baby here i will not shave it was for the original so um, was from, I guess, from what I gather, from what Doug was telling me, it was that there's, you know, before have a nice shave, uh, there was this baby right here. And the original soap actually came with a seed, which was some, a little seed of, of uh, pre-shaved soap that was actually in the soap puck, which I thought was pretty cool. So uh, he didn't do that this time with this one here but it i mean it's so so good and it also came with chlorophyll now that's the soap the splash this time right now has avocado oil aloe vera and chlorophyll in the uh in the aftershave so um sorry about that i think that one might have been my youngest checking in on me i'm okay uh, <laughs> so yes, the aftershave has avocado oil, aloe vera, and chlorophyll in it. So do keep that in mind with the aftershave. So you you definitely want to pick this up as a set because they 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 complement each other. As do when you get Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Is that it, it's just the 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 scent layering, the amounts that you can do with this with this products are just so cool. So. You have, um, you know, the, the EDPs, the clone sprays, you have solids, you have deodorants, you have um, the star jelly. And I mean, but if anything, the soap and aftershave, get that. But I mean, if you get just the soap, okay, you know, more power to you. Uh, but just know that they do complement with each other uh, really well. So uh, I always tend to like to get the, the sets. I have a set coming. Hopefully it arrives today. Um, 
I love the United States Postal Service. Uh, I have a relative that, several relatives that work for them, a uh, few that have retired. But man, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes stuff uh, it just appears out of nowhere or doesn't show for a different date. But it's... Uh, I mean, they're doing their best, guys. They're doing their best, okay? They're doing their best. <laughs> I love the United States Postal Service. Uh, so, you know, your mail carrier, people that work in the delivery industry, give them some love, all right? They're doing their best out there. Okay. Wow. So... Wow. Man. This does feel really good. So, I mean, the... I'd have to say that it, it definitely is... The, the glide is effortless with this. Okay? But the, the scent is just so bright and uplifting. I am happy I'm using this in the morning. Um, this is definitely going to be a great start to my day. And it is... Just lighting this up and feels so good. So good. Very uplifting. So what I would say, what I get, and mind you, with avocado, it's in the same family. Um, for me, aromatically to something like, it brings up a lot like you would almost with like a bright cinnamon or a, or even a bay. Freaky, I know. I'm not saying that's what the, you're getting off of this, but what I'm saying is, is that it, it, it elevates in that type of way, okay? Because uh, I absolutely love uh, uh, Phoenix Artisans, uh, Accoutrements, uh, PAAs. I love Doug's take on Bay Rum and how he can take that and manipulate that in a way without adding clove. Man, so good. So he conducted such magic and such wizardry with this avocado and again don't think uh, guacamole or avocado toast no I'm thinking beautiful spa day I mean you are just pampered to the nines okay big fluffy robe you know fresh uh, cucumber lemon water at your disposal um, just relaxed but also just this bliss that you would feel I've never had an actual spa day because I conduct my spa days here. Okay. Um, <laughs> and this is something that I will definitely use for those self spa days because it's, it's that like uplifting type of feel, that blissful feeling that you would get if you were just like coming out of a, just having a spa day, right? Being somewhere at a resort and just that overwhelming sense of bliss that that's the i keep saying that but that's exactly what pops into my head when i'm using this the smell of it that's where it takes me that's where my brain my mind is transported to that type of feeling that type of environment with this scent so and but you have like the the woods and the musk in the bottom you know so i know with the aftershave especially with the dry down what's going to happen um those, you know, the bottom notes as I'm sitting at my work desk today, you know, are going to settle in. So it's kind of like you had your spa day, you know, you're feeling very uplifted, but you also have to remember where your car keys are because you have to go to work the next day. <laughs> so that's the bottom notes. It's like you're up in this high, lifted, just feeling amazing. But you also have to have a little bit of responsibility because you got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> that's the only way I can explain it, but that's what I'm getting. And it's just, wow. I mean, look at my face. It is just, that's how I feel with this. It just feels so good, so bright. And I cannot wait for hopefully all of you guys to experience this. So I'll definitely be wearing this to the arcade, I'll tell you that much. So I need to stop by. And see my good friend Scott there 
in town at the Mr. Zero's Arcade. Always support your local arcade if you have one or go find one. Those old game cabinets are not gonna feed themselves quarters or tokens. You need to go and feed them. They're hungry. Show them some love. Mm, just like this is showing love to my face, my skin. Man, that is good. Okay, now we're going for a second pass. And I am pretty smooth as is. I mean, I could start my day with just one pass, but I am having too much darn fun. I am experiencing this for the first time, and this is really nice. This is definitely going to be in my rotation very often, especially for my morning shades, because this is just so, so uplifting, put me in a very good mood. Look at that, just effortless, just boom, boom, boom. Go, 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 right through there. Um, so, beyond a minute. <laughs> oh man, love it. See, it's drawing them in, it's like, they smell, they know, they're waiting. Both my daughters are wet shavers as well, so they are eager to get their hands on this. But I know once that happens, Hopefully I'll be able to see it again. <laughs> okay, so careful under the nose. Careful. Now there is a tiny lid of tab overhang on this. So just be mindful. You guys can see that uh, when you're using this. So just be mindful, just like the vintage Gillette's. You know, lots of the vintage razors had that little tab overhang of the, the razor blade on the sides. So, um, but you got to remember too, when you're dealing with vintage blades were also a little different back then too. Design pretty much was the same dimensions, um, may have been a little different. You know, I'm not sure I've never used a vintage blade, but, uh, these are all coming off of the same type of design now with the exception I think Kai blades from Japan are a little wider compared to everything else on the market when it comes to double-edged safety razor blades oh I got a little nick there there we go so uh, I had a mosquito bite I think I nicked it because it's getting into mosquito season here in Michigan and it will last until the snow comes. So <laughs> just be mindful of your shave, guys. There we go. Here we go. I'll throw on my Allen block afterwards and help take care of that. Man, there we go. Yeah, it's just that Nick was that bite I had. I knew I was gonna get it, but oh well. Tis the season. Okay, man. Look at that. Beautiful. So yes, the avocado, the, 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 the pear, the, the, I mean, it is just the citrus. Whew, man, it just smells so good. It, it smells so uplifting. That's all I keep thinking about is just overall bliss and just uplifting feeling. So drop that down. We're going to rinse. There we go. Continue this with the aftershave for my spa morning. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, now let's get this aftershave. Ah, uh, man, I love the tint to it. The little kind of hint of green to that. That is so cool. That is so cool. Yeah. All right. There we go. Shake it up. Shake it up. Now. And I know there's a way for to do this properly, but I do the shake. Okay. Get that on there. Let that alcohol dissipate a little bit. 
Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. I need to add a little bit more. That smells so good. My wife put some on before she left the house this morning because it smells so good. She's like, I got, I got to use some of that after she, I got, it smells. Same thing. She just wanted to have just a beautiful, uplifting start to her day. And she's like, I, I got to get some. So go ahead. Mmm, <laughs> man. Give yourself a spa day. Give yourself an uplifting morning. I will nice shave. I will nice shave. I have to say it again. I will nice shave. Get this when this baby releases and you are going to have a great, beautiful, uplifting, bright day. Check it out. And so, yes, go to, I have my link in the bottom here in the description, affiliate link if you want to go. Um, do get a little bit of um, kickback for that if you use it. I mean, it's no extra cost to you or anything. I do appreciate it. Use the link in my description below. But And while you're there, throw a like and subscribe to the channel. Share it out to your friends. But do get this if you're able to um, pick it up, get the set. Um, and you're going to have a really good time. So thank you. Thank you, Doug, Fran, and Huxley. Appreciate including me in this. Uh, much, much love and thank you. And also thank all of you for stopping by the Shave Arcade. Take care, everybody, and have a good day. Shave Arcade.